Okay, I want to thank you all for coming to hear me speak. That's so far, it's uh, But if you notice in the write up and the itinerary, what does it say my topic? Mr. Fire. Yeah, who the hell is that? I don't know. I don't either. People have been asking me ever since I, until I was called up, what are you going to talk about? And I said, you know what, I don't know. I thought I was originally invited to do a meditation for the last meeting we had for about 20 minutes. Well, I didn't go to the last meeting when you met in Puerto Rico or wherever you met. You missed out. I did miss out, I know. And so I didn't get to do my 20 minutes. They said, how about if you do an hour now? <laughs> oh, that's how it works. You don't do your talk, you don't show up, and it keeps doubling. <laughs> okay, so I now have an hour. Great, what do I talk about? They listed as Mr. Fire. <laughs> What, I, well, maybe I didn't tell you, does it really matter because there's a point in here. What I tend to do is never prepare anymore, never tell what the topic is, unless I'm backed into a corner, and then I'll, the copywriter in me will invent some sort of riveting topic, like how to have a two-hour orgasm, or <laughs> how to make money we'll while you sleep. One. Yeah. Let's yeah. Get that one. Okay. <laughs> we'll show up. We'll talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Got to sign up for that. Yeah. All right. So, oh, you just built a workshop. <laughs> and then as I'm listening to you over the last couple of days, I get more and more interested as well as confused. Uh, yesterday, for example, I was here when you were talking about money. And I've written a book called Attract Money Now. And anybody can go read it. It's at attractmoneynow.com. Uh, just go to attractmoneynow.com and you can read it on your own. And I thought, well, maybe I should be talking about how to attract money. And I talked to Debbie Ford beforehand. And she had asked me, what are you going to talk about? I said, I don't know. I got all these different things. I can talk about internet marketing. I can talk about copywriting. I can talk about my car collection. I can talk about healing. I can talk about Ho'oponopono. I can talk about attracting money. I can go, I've written 52 freaking books. <laughs> Pick any topic. And I'll stand up here and talk. But I thought, what do they need to hear here, now, in this room, all of you? Most of whom I already know on one level or another. Many of you, what, you don't know what this feels like to be up here. Many of you have changed my life over the years through your work, your books, your speaking. I was homeless from 30 years ago. I was in poverty for about 10 some years. And as I was struggling my way through, I was reading the books by the transformational teachers. And if I could afford it, or if I could get in for free by pretending I was a journalist, I would attend their <laughs> seminars. <laughs> and it's you people that made the difference. You know, people like Jack, I mean, I tear up every time I think about Jack and talk about Jack. And people like Debbie, it wasn't until yesterday I met her for the first time, but she has transformed my life, and I'm always raving about her work. Uh, and here I am in front of you. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for that. That's amazing. So here I am tuning in, trying to say, what do you guys want to hear? I even got out last night on my balcony and I'm communicating with the universe, with the divine, I'm meditating, I'm trying to get past all the programming, all the beliefs in me that are saying, oh, do what they're gonna think is good, do what they're, what they're gonna make you love, they're, they're gonna love you for doing. Wanting to win your approval, wanting to win your love. And then I'm thinking to myself, well, the way I do it is I get in people's face, I tell them the truth, and if they don't like me, it does bother me, but I go about my day. <laughs> so, last night, the divine said, tell them how to reach the divine. And I argued with it for a little bit, until I realized I was arguing with the divine. And I said, I'm giving in. I'm giving in. It's one of the secrets to success. Put the ego, you know, obeying orders, more or less. Make the ego obey the orders. I'm obeying orders. When I put the whiteboard up here, to me, the whiteboard is God. To me, the whiteboard is divinity. To me, the whiteboard is zero. Nothing there but love. When we put love there, we're starting to write things on the whiteboard. This is relevant. If I say it's the divine, I'm starting to write things on the whiteboard. I say it's divine. If I say it's God, I just wrote something else on the whiteboard. It's God. The whiteboard has nothing, yet has everything. The people who have said yesterday when they were talking about money, the whiteboard is abundance. No lack, no limitation. I have not experienced lack or limitation in my life. I just bought another car, number nine, quarter of a million dollar handmade spiker from Holland. And I don't drive anywhere, I work at home. <laughs> <laughs> people say, why do you have these cars? Oh, it's an investment. Really? Well, that's what I tell myself. No lack or limitation. Why? 
because I'm taking my inspiration from the whiteboard. When it bubbles up an inspiration to me, I say, salute, I will do it. When people say, how have you written 52 books? You've been in all these movies and you've written all the, or recorded all these DVDs and CDs and this, that, and the other. It's because whenever I get the idea, the inspiration, I act almost instantly. What do most people do? Think about it. Think about it, question it, have a conversation with themselves about it, wonder about it, doubt it. I don't. I take action. I was told to inform you that one of the things I took action on is in your welcome bag. Finarita? Everybody got one in their bag. And yes. you, I'm sorry I didn't give you a bottle of tequila with every one of these bags. Really? <laughs> <No. laughs> what is this? No, where is the tequila? Oh, where is it? The bar has the tequila, please. <laughs> Finarita. Okay, so I'm out at dinner. I was in a bodybuilding contest at one time, and I was very disciplined. I was very restricted, you know, and everybody's eating and drinking and having their margaritas. And I remember saying, and I slammed my fist on the table, what we need is a bodybuilder's margarita. And everybody laughed. I'm like, this isn't funny, I mean that. <laughs> and then it occurred to me, thought was there. Yo, make the healthy margarita mix. A margarita mix, the average margarita mix has 300 to 1,000 calories in it. So when you order your margarita, just that one, that's half your calories for the day, and if you're in a bodybuilding contest, that's your calories for the week. So I thought, there's got to be another way. I worked with a medical doctor, I worked with a nutritionist, and I did all the sampling for all of the, you know, the process of making all of the different fitteritas. God bless you. Yes, I did all of that. I did it. I went to the war for all, everybody. And I ended up with fitterita. I am not a chemist. I am an author, first and foremost. Sometimes I get to speak, sometimes I get to do other things, but I'm first and foremost an author. I like to write. That's why I have so many books. However, I saw an opportunity, an inspiration. Something coming from the whiteboard said, hey, Joe, here's an idea. So we invent this. One company's already asked us, how much for 11 million packets? How much for 11 million packets? Another company says, how much for the rights to sell this in Africa? Another company says, well, we want to sell it to the Latino market. How much do you want for that? Money is all over the place. Trillions of dollars are in circulation. But if you're still going back to the river to pick up money with an old bucket, it has holes in it, and you're not going to do as well. You have to go with a new bucket. So. When we look at all of this, and these are all wonderful tools, and I know most of these tools, and I can add a few tools, I have tools of my own, you know what that does? You know what that does? Where's our erasers? Permanent index there, Joe. I'm supposed to use Kleenex on that? No, it's this thing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you have all of these things that I'm going to just be in your face and say, most of the time, this takes you away from the divine. Most of the time, this takes you away from the whiteboard. Now, I say that's in your face because a lot of you are married to these ideas. A lot of you have patented and trademarked and written about this and recorded about this and made it your life. Dr. Hulen and I, Dr. Hulen's a guy who uh, taught Paul Pomopono. He's my co-author on the book Zero Limits, and everybody has a copy of that in your welcome bag. He talked about this. He says that you are either getting, in any moment, inspiration or programming. What you're receiving in, in any moment is inspiration or programming. And he once said in one of the seminars we did together, a great way to start a religion is for one person to receive from the whiteboard an insight and then start telling the world about it and saying, here's the insight you should practice. You have now given everybody one removal from the whiteboard. And the guy who received the inspiration may or may not know, or the woman, may or may not know that they did that. The inspiration they received was for that person not necessarily for everybody else. 